Hey, this is Syker. I wanted to make this video a little while ago, but never found the time or the motivation to do it. With Minecraft Live coming up in just under 20 hours, I really got to do it now or it's never going to happen. So I'm just going to sort of go off script and share my predictions for what the next update is going to be. Along with these predictions, I'm going to be giving explanations for why I think my predictions are right, and I'm going to be telling you just how confident I am in them. My first prediction, like many other people, is that this update is going to be themed around the end. The end, lots of people have been saying, needs a revamp. Um, after the Nether update and the Overworld update, it sort of just makes sense for the end update to be next. Of course, I have my own reasons for believing on top of that. Of course, you have Mojang representatives in the past saying that they will not add any new dimensions until the three existing dimensions have been cleaned up and revamped. Now, if you've gone through really old social media posts like I have, you'll notice that people started asking for a cave update right after the update Aquatic came out. But it didn't really take any steam until a full year later. Now, it is common knowledge that Mojang plans their updates two years in advance. Just about two years after people started demanding a cave update, Fuzzy Bees came out. 1.15, which completely cleaned up Java Edition's code base, which com made caves and cliffs even possible. If you recall, it fixed tons of really major bugs. It fixed a lot of the code to make it run smoother, and just in general made the game a lot more pleasant to play. After that, they did the Nether update where they experimented with terrain generation changes and basically completely rewrote the terrain generation engine. If you remember, the nether update is where 3D biomes first came from. Then, after the nether update, you had Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and Part 2, Tales and Trails, and the Wild Update. And, as of Tales and Trails, every single feature that was part of the theme of Caves and Cliffs all the way down to archaeology, has now been added into the game. What this means is, Caves and Cliffs is officially done. Now some people argue the bundles count as part of Caves and Cliffs, but I disagree. That is more of an inventory change. And I think when they put out bundles and people gave their feedback, Mojang must have realized that if they wanted to fix the inventory issues, they were going to have to overhaul the inventory system as a whole instead of just adding the bandage that was the bundle. Now that's all pretty strong evidence for the update being themed around the end. But, as we all know, these updates don't only include features for their theme. So what other systems do I think Mojang will revitalize with this next update? I think they're going to add combat changes. I think that Mojang is planning to change the combat system as a whole. Three years ago, Jeb, the chief creative officer of Mojang Studios, put out a series of snapshots called the Experimental Combat Snapshots. These snapshots went through changes that he was experimenting with for the combat system in Minecraft. The reason he started with these experimental snapshots was just to test the water for what the community valued in combat. If you remember, the last time Mojang did a combat update, it didn't go over so well. 1.9 split the community, and many Minecraft servers continue to run 1.8 combat. In addition to this, touchscreens didn't go too well with the new combat, so they never even ported it to Bedrock Edition. So three years ago, Jeb was doing these combat snapshots, and he was tweaking them and changing them and taking feedback. As far as everyone can tell, things were going on along nicely, until suddenly, without any explanation, they stopped. Three years ago. Now remember, Mojang plans two years in advance, and they were not planning the Caves and Cliffs saga to last so long. The Wild Update and Trails and Tales were both not intended to exist. All the features from them were meant to be part, originally, of the Cave Update. So, if Mojang plans things two years in advance, and they had to delay some of their plans by a full year, and the combat snapshots Jeb were working on suddenly stopped coming out, let's say two years before the delays, I think that they've been planning this combat update since all the way back then. I think that once Jeb was satisfied, he officially put it on their schedule and stopped putting out the snapshots. And now that the cave update is all in place, they are ready to move on to the next thing. Which again, I think they've been planning for years at this point. But that's not all. 
if you've been paying attention to the betas and bug fixes for Bedrock Edition in the last year or so, you'll notice that, especially recently, the Bedrock team has been hard at work fixing hitbox and projectile-related bugs. A while ago, they fixed the bug having to do with arrows being able to hit more than once in a single shot. Then they also fixed the issue with crossbows being able to hit you with three tipped arrows at the same time. Recently, they fixed issues with hitboxes affecting elytras and combat together. They've just added crawling. They... And, heck, they even just fixed shields and the way shields worked in Bedrock Edition. Now, of course, there have been many other bug fixes than that, but the fact that all of these bug fixes waited until just now, just within the last little bit, when the cave update has been winding down, when arguably it would have been very useful to have it beforehand, tells me that they were holding off on doing it, focusing on other stuff instead, until now. In addition, they could have changed Bedrock Edition combat many times. In fact, many people were wanting them to. But again, they haven't. They've been holding back. And I think that's because they've been planning a combat update. And finally, it would just be poetic. I mean, come on. 1.9 was the end update, and that introduced the major combat changes last time. And now, with 1.21 coming out, possibly being an end update, if it's an end update, it makes a ton of sense for it to be a combat update. And if it's a combat update, it makes a ton of sense for it to be an end update. It just, it's poetic. Of course, if it's Jeb's combat snapshots, which I've played personally, I think it'll go over a lot better with the community. At the beginning of the video, I said that I have three major predictions. And so far, I've only shared two. Now, this next one, I'm not too confident in. So take it with a grain of salt. I think that in addition to being an end update and a combat update, they're going to be doing inventory changes. They're going to be affecting the way in the inventory works. Now, lots of people have been saying for a while that Minecraft has an inventory problem. We have too many separate items at this point. Every little flower, every type of seed, every piece of wood, every type of stone clogs up people's inventories. And people really started getting loud about it about two years ago. When people started getting noisy about it, Mojang put out the bundle to get feedback from the community and try to gauge how people would take certain ways of alleviating the inventory issue. And about two years ago, they completely canceled the bundle for the cave update. Now, what does that mean? Knowing that Mojang plans two years in advance, it's very possible that they delayed the bundle because they realized that they had to do a full revamp of the inventory system. And, two years later, now that the Caves and Cliffs saga is over, they finally have the chance to do so. And if my prediction about a combat update is right, well, a large part of combat is managing arrows, managing potions, managing item durability, things like that. Managing totems. And if they were to revamp combat, they would need, necessarily, to change some of the properties of certain items in the inventory to balance that out. Of course, you wouldn't need a full inventory update, but with each successive major update we've had, the inventory problem has just gotten worse and worse and worse, and people have been gotten louder and louder about it. So while I don't have much good evidence for there being inventory change features, I have a strong gut feeling that they will be included. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. So, those are my predictions. I apologize if this video is a bit rambly. Honestly, it's probably not going to be the best thing I've ever made, but I just had to get it out. I had to get all of this out, and I had to get it out now. <laughs> I mean, if you look in the top right corner, you can see I only have 20 hours. Only, well, 19 at this point. So, if you managed to see this before Minecraft Live, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. And if Minecraft Live comes out and I turn out to be right, that's awesome. If I'm wrong, I mean, honestly, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm just excited to get a new update. While updates aren't necessary, Minecraft's a good game as is, it's always great to play with new features. With all that said, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And now that we're done, this is Syker, signing out.